Hey guys, it's KevinK89. Welcome back to another, bro, the final episode of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass Grand Prix. And in this episode, we're going to be doing the Spiny Cup. And we'll go with Funky Kong here. And our very last cup of the DLC, the Spiny Cup. And I'm pretty sad about this because this is the, this is it. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is over. It's the last DLC that we're ever getting for this game. And it's been such a long ride for Mario Kart 8. We're starting with Tours Madrid Drive. Madrid Drive. The very last city track that was added to Tour. Now this track, it's okay. I like it better than Romovanti, that's for sure, in this DLC. And the music goes pretty hard. I do like the music a lot here. Well, it was good in Tour 2, but here, wow, they made the song sound even better. And it, it does have a little bit of narrowness, which is annoying. Kind of like Rome Vanti, but not as bad. This one turned out much better for 8 Deluxe. And this is already, this is only the first lap, and then there's that shortcut that you need a mushroom for. Ah, the narrowness, and I hit the corner. That's what I hate about these city tracks. Those paintings are cool. And that music changed very briefly, and it was short. And then that's lap one. You go through the museum on the first lap. Did that say churros on that sign? I think it did. Ha! <laughs> Something churros. Thwumps. And in some kind of market, food market right there. Come on now. And then, right here, the Wiggler moves. They just ripped that straight from DS Mario Circuit. And that Wiggler is supposed to... He's an obstacle right there. He should not be a playable character. That's so dumb. Okay. And then it's Madrid Drive. I don't even know what... What route names they are, because... I know Tor does the same route twice for one lap. For two laps and then it's over but I don't know which one's Madrid Drive 2 and Madrid Drive 3 I don't know I always forget I tend to forget it says toward I don't know how to pronounce that churros and then the cool part with the the soccer stadium with a different song is only used on the final lap which is a little disappointing because I like that I was a big fan of that of that theme in tour. It's a little creepy, but it sounds kind of cool for a city, for a tour city track theme. The stadium right here. See, this part's pretty cool, and it's only on the final lap. What a shame. And then that's Madrid Drive. Alright, did it. Funky has a cool horn. Wow, wow. He does have some. Now this, he has a pretty funny sounding horn. Overall, Madrid Drive is a solid seven out of ten. It's just okay. Don't care for those city courses, and Madrid Drive is not a bad one. Now this one I like: 3DS Rosalina's Ice World. Honest, I am so surprised that this track got in after all. I thought there was only going to be three 3DS tracks according to the data mines, and that was looking to be true until this, until the Wave 6 trailer came out and showed me this track. And they gave us a holiday slash winter themed track for 2023 after all for this game. I thought we were going to get Piranha Plant Pipeline, and wow, how did we get that one wrong? But I'm, I'm happy with this. I prefer this over Piranha Plant Pipeline. It's, um, it's different in its own way. I know some people don't like this track, but I don't get, I don't get it. It's overhated. It has a lot of member berries to Super Mario Galaxy right here. The Comet Observatory. And it's a cool track. I like it a lot. And Rosalina didn't have any tracks in this game. And it's... Very, I'm very glad to see Rosalina get some kind of track. After all, she is my favorite Mario princess, and boom, we got Rosalina's Ice World. Oh, I hate, how, I 
hate the blooper so much. And then here's the underwater section. It does feel short. Okay, and then there's penguins. I don't know why, but I feel like I barely can't really... Don't really get to see the penguins very much in this track. And I guess it was a logical choice in a way, too, because GBA Snowland had penguins. They would want to go for a course that reuses assets from another course, like penguins. And the ice from GBA Snowland, so there you go. <laughs> okay, and then that's the last lap. And then there was a shortcut they added over there. There's a little ramp, but you need a mushroom for it to be successful. Oh, the camera kind of sucks on that part of the track. And the half pipes really throw you off here, so that's not the best design. There's the penguin swimming. That's so cool. And then let's go on the boost pads for the final lap. Whoops. Meant to hold that shell behind me. And I like the remix a lot for this track. And then that's Rosalina's Ice World. That was very... I wanted this track for a long time for the 3DS courses, and I was disappointed that, that we looked like we were only getting three 3DS courses. And this caught me off guard. Very pleased to see my favorite 3DS track in the game. 8 out of 10, or 9 out of 10, one of the two. Well, why not 9? Because they added that ramp that wasn't there in the original. At or tour. So I'm pleased with it. And now we have the SNES track that was long anticipated and expected ever since it's gotten its redesign and tour. That being Bowser Castle 3. Our very first retro Bowser's Castle in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I could not be happier with this choice. Wow. This track is incredible in this game. Best NES, SNES track ever. Because SNES tracks usually suck, but this one does not. This hits right at home with base Mario Kart 8. It looks just like a base game track. The graphics of this are so good as well. And this track is barely recognizable from the original Bowser Castle 3 from Super Mario Kart. So nobody's going to um, recognize this track. It feels like an entirely new track. And then the remix goes so hard too, and then you got Anti-Gravity. Ugh, they did so well with it. This track is so good. Solid 10 out of 10. There's This track is hits right at home with base Mario Kart 8. I can't think of any reason to rate it lower than 10 out of 10. I'm very pleased with Bowser Castle 3. And then the, mu the music goes hard, and you also... Just how it's an SNES track, and how... It's... It blows me away how much effort and how much of a glow-up this track received. Looks nothing like the original, because Super Mario Kart is not the best Mario Kart game, and... It plays like trash for... Oh, crap, I fell in the lava. Didn't mean to. Ugh. We got anti-gravity. We have been needing an, an extra of Retro Bowser's Castle for so long, and it sucks that we didn't have... How did a single previous wave before this one not include a Bowser's Castle? They should have included GBA Bowser Castle 4 or something instead of Sunset Wilds for Wave 5. Oh yeah, that was it. That was Bowser Castle 3. That track is easy 10 out of 10 for me. Probably one of the, the, one of the best tracks in Wave 6, hands down. 10 out of 10 for Bowser Castle 3. I have nothing but good things to say about that track. And then the most anticipated finale, Wii Rainbow Road. In my opinion, the very best Rainbow Road in the entire game now. We finally have a good three-lap Rainbow Road. At last. I was so happy to see this. Or At first, I thought this checkeredness, the checkeredness of this, sucked. 
and I was disappointed initially by the trailer and wish it looked more like 3DS Rainbow Road. But after playing this here, I was wrong. It looks amazing. It has the... It borrows that little... I don't know what you call it, the little flowingness on the track, the shiny flows. It borrows that from 3DS Rainbow Road. Ooh, and the sound effect right there, that's nostalgic. <laughs> Too bad that G -G 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 is missing on that part of the track from the original. Yeah, these jingle, the twinkles. Such an iconic Rainbow Road. What a W choice. Excellent track to end the booster course pass off. I wonder if they brought back half pipes for this reason. They had to have br brought them back. Yeah, and the sound effects here are also here from the Wii original. And you can trick off of these just like the original. They've really done good. And the whole track is in anti gravity and it fits so well here. This track was disappointing in tour because it was only one, la one lap and two sections, which definitely pissed me off. I did not like that in tour. And here, it's all three laps, thank god. And this could actually be the very best version of Wii Rainbow Road, even surpassing the original. The remix is clean, the visuals are fantastic. What's not to like here? I'm very pleased with this track. Okay, the camera... I wish the camera angles would get fixed when you go on half pipes. Of course this track can put people who grew up with Mario Kart Wii in tears. It almost did for me, too. I don't know. It will later. I want to go on this side of the track. Never got to yet. Alright. Yeah. And then this is it. Very last lap. And then that's it. We Rainbow Road is done. The track is a 10 out of 10 for me, too. The Spiny Cup is the stronger cup of Wave 6, easily. Alright, guys, that's it. We're done. The Booster Course Pass is finished. And uh, that's going to be it for this episode of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass Grand Prix, this final episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Share the video if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new and near and around, because it helps out the channel a lot and lets you know you do like my content. Don't forget to subscribe to Super Kev MK89 Maker for Mario Maker 2 videos, and the 301st Battalion for Star Wars and Halo content as well. Links are in the description. And we're gonna probably skip the credits too, because it's too sad. Too sad for me. There's plenty of other content, content creators that have them, so go ahead and watch them. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye-bye now.